Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet. You know what we talk about here. If you've been here, you know what we talk about. If not, we talk about yarn and crochet. That's what we talk about here. That is, that's it. That's what that's all we do here. That's what we like. That's what we like. Um, so if you like that type of thing, please join us. It's a very very nice community here. Everybody is super nice for the most part, <laughs> and um, it's just wonderful here. Um, I also do teach crochet. So uh, uh, today is 4-13 of 2024 and the making of the video. I have about 1,300, that's right, 1,300 crochet tutorials. And they are all free for you to enjoy. So please do enjoy those as you see fit. Today's video though is not a crochet tutorial. It is a video I am super stoked about. <laughs> I am so stoked. I've been waiting on this one box to come for too long, too long, all right? So if you know anything about me in general, Bago de Crochet, one thing I extremely love a lot is anything vintage, especially if it's a vintage crochet related, vintage hooks, vintage yarn. I can't get enough, right? I can't. I love vintage everything, but I love vintage crochet stuff. And there's another thing I love. Afghan kits. Afghan kits. I never used to like them until last year. And then I become weirdly obsessed with Afghan kits. Well, I took myself to eBay and I got some vintage Afghan kits and I have never been so excited. I'm a patient person. I always said if I was blessed with anything in my life, personally, I was, you know, I was blessed with patience. That was my gift, it, uh, the gift of patience. And I practice that. I am an extremely patient person. I started to become a little bit unpatient, waiting on this one box to come because I wanted to open these vintage Afghan kits so bad. Not only are they going to include vintage yarn, which I love, they're going to include vintage patterns and who knows what they're going to include. Who knows? I don't know. I just went to eBay and I'm like, you know, I want to look up vintage Afghan kits and I want ones that are new, not open. And then, you know, they showed me. I picked out some. I have to admit, a couple of them looked a little creepy. I don't know, like they had like clowns on them or something. Who knows? Maybe they're not creepy in real life. I don't know. I got them though. They look kind of cool. Kind of creepy at the same time. But whatever. You know? It's a vintage Afghan kit. It's going to have cool old yarn in it and whatnot. And old patterns. I'm so super stoked. I think there's like eight or nine of them here. I'm not certain. You guys want to check them out? I'm. This is like super excited. I don't know what this is. All right, so this one actually is opened. This one came and, uh, I, you know, I said I wanted new ones, new Afghan kit. Oh, old, new stock, you know. I wanted them to be old, but still be in the package, right? Well, I, I read this one and it said that, it, you know, it was still in the package, but the package had like a little rip in it. I'm like, whatever, I'll take that, you know. So I put it in my cart. And then I, I sliced open this box um, on accident. <laughs> and then when I pulled out the bag, the bag was so old and brittle, it busted open. So, uh, yeah. But we could take a look at it. Do you want to? I just took a small little gander, you know, because I, I like the element of surprise when it comes to opening things on camera with you guys. I like to be, I like it. I like it like that, you know. Um, it's fun. So I try not to open boxes until, uh, you know, I can do it with you guys. It's like doing it with you, you know. I'm, we're opening it together. But anyways, so this one came with like two, but they were like the same. Like they had two, uh, two different patterns you can make, but the yarn is still the same. I don't know, but let's look at it. So, uh, let me get it out of the box here. So it came... But like I said, it, it had a bag on it, but when I pulled it out, the bag just kind of ripped. That's my fault. You know, I didn't realize, hey, 
this is going to be some some brittle stuff but now i know after this ordeal here i'm so excited look 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 melina <laughs> i love the picture oh, i love this look look at this i guess i don't know what you can make with this a lap a lap warmer afghan ripple to crochet shown in combo color number two all right select one or two styles you can make the ripple ripple to crochet or ripple to knit so you can make this one and this ripple knit one i guess or the plaid one super cool the plaid is crochet as well I love the picture. Oh, it's got fringe on it. Look. Made in the USA, huh? You don't see that very often anymore. Lap warmer kit. Contains 12 ounces of yarn. Four collars. Make any of the three styles that you like. Well, the four collars that I got, that is a short pattern. I don't know. So, oh my gosh, look at the price on this. This kit. Two kits, two kits together. Look at the price tag on that. That's another thing I love about Vinny stuff. $3.97 for a two-pack Afghan kit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I see Afghan kits for over $100 nowadays. Let's look at the yarn. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what the yarn is. Does it say... Does it say easy care, machine washable and dryable? Uh, it makes a 30 by 45, not including the fringe. You got to buy extra yarn if you want the fringe. Well, I don't know anything about the yarn. It's not saying it and it's not marked, but we can look at it. It's, it's uh, old. I definitely, um, it's going to smell vintage. Yes, vintage has a certain smell, and yes, it does. I love the colors, though. Look, so you can make that ripple lap blanket with these these colors. One, two, three, four colors. Those are my hey, those are my colors right there. I love that. I know, that's so cool. I can't believe that the how. It's, Three ninety three dollars and ninety seven cents for two Afghan kits because I got double. It, it, there were two in a pack, right? It's the same Afghan kit, but they were they were both in the same pack for for three dollars and ninety seven cents, <laughs> and they have the same yarn, so it wasn't like you didn't get like the blue color or anything. You just got two of the two of the. That's all right. That's my colors, man. I would probably chose this one anyways. So that was super cool. The yarn is probably, I would imagine, acrylic. I couldn't date this if I had to. Maybe some of you guys can. I don't see no date anywhere on it. Um, looking at it, I'd probably say 60s. What do you think? That's probably my best guess. Afghan kit number one, probably the 60s. That would be what I would say um, by the color of it. And I don't know the price of it and i don't know it being all i don't know the styles but i don't know i wasn't born in the 60s that's just that's just a guess so the yarn it's acrylic you know it looks like it's a they make afghan kids they, they use it on that thin look at that oh, that's probably that's probably a dk isn't it that's a thin dk but yeah 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 dk weight cool so exciting afghan kit number one Double the vintage yarn, double the kit. I'll never make it because I can't read a pattern. But you know what? I don't need to read a pattern because I can make that ripple blanket right there. It's such a common pattern. You don't need a pattern for it, right? It's so easy to do. But I don't know if I'll make these or not. Um, that's just a single crochet ripple. Yes, I probably have a tutorial for it on my channel. Um... <laughs> 
I don't know if I'll uh, make any make the any of these Afghan kits up or not, or I'll just save them because I like to collect a vintage things. Get me started on something, and I'll have a massive collection like you've never seen. And these Afghan kits are so super cool, man. Come on, I have a. I think I mentioned before. I just have a little bit of a. Uh, something where I, I have to have like if I start collecting something that I really like, you know I gotta I gotta collect it, man. I got I got to. It's like a. Uh, I have to do it. I call myself a completist. I won't stop until I feel like my collection is complete. Now, when it comes to crochet hooks, my collection is never complete. Never. Let's move on to the next, shall we? Not open. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Afghan kits and old yarn. Vintage at its best. Oh, man. What's this one? What is this? This don't look like crochet. Oh, it's a clown. It was the clown. This isn't even... What is this? Lasetta Plus. Why did they rip the price tag off of it? That's the best part. What is this? A baby clown afghan. But look at this. It's like uh, an easy to learn new craft. It's like uh, weaving or something. Look. look at this. It comes with this cloth. And you weave to make the afghan. Hey, that's super cool, I guess. I, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that before. Clown is a rather... I don't know. Creepy. <laughs> Lasetta Creation Kit contains everything you need to complete this unique article. I would say it's rather unique. That clown. I don't know about him. So I was made with wind tuck yarn. Is that 60s to 70s, isn't it? Made in the USA. No date up on this one either. I hate, I hate, I can't open it. I'm sorry, I can't do it. If I'm going to I can't do it. It's, it's vintage, it's old, I can't, I can't open it. I'm sorry. It's, uh, if it was a Ziploc, I would. But it's sealed and I can't do it. But, uh, I know, I feel bad. I feel bad. I should be opening them, shouldn't I? Uh, I can't, I can't do it. I can't. I thought I could open them and show you guys, but I mean, so there's the the felt for the clown, and I guess you just weave you weave the yarn in. Uh, it's kind of cool. I, I'll never do it because uh, I can't. I, I, I right now I can tell you I can't bring myself to open these. I can't do it. I can't. If it's sealed, I can't open it. It's too national yarn crafts. It's just too, um, I don't know, too cool. If I open it, it ruins it. It ruins it. You know that I'll tell you a little story about me that you probably will find laughable um, and odd and weird at the same time. Something you probably don't know. Well, you might know a little part of it, but another part that you don't know. I do not like to read I don't like to read books at all actually I I probably mentioned that many times before I don't read books it's I really hate to read um, but you know what I like to do I like to collect books I have a huge collection of books and I won't let anybody open them or read them because in my mind once they're open and read they've never even I mean they're a book I buy I buy them off Amazon right books I like I never 
open them. I never open them. Not even to look in them. And I won't let my husband. He'll be like, can I read this book? I'm like, no. Once you, read, once you read it, it's been read. It's a used book then. Right now it's brand new. It's never been read. Isn't that a weird way of thinking? I don't like to read, but I like books. I like to buy brand new books off Amazon. And I won't open them or let anybody touch them. Because I think once that they've been opened, they've been read. And once they've been read, they become a used book. I'm a weirdo. I've already known that, though, for a long time. So has my husband. Let's move on to the next one. Just like the same with these kits. Once I open them, they're, 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 they're not, they're, they're open. They're not new old stock anymore, you know what I mean? They're, they've been opened. Oh, look at that. It's pretty. Lachetta Plus, again, another of that brand. Oh, I like that one. I don't remember which one I got. That's pretty. Look at that. It's another one of those things? What in the heck? What are those things? I might have to open one and look. I bet my daughter could do that. All right, let's open this one. Only because it's not really an Afghan kit. I don't, I don't know what this is. It's a kind of weird kit. I guess I should open the clown. He was creepy. This one isn't. Is it? So it's this mesh thing here. This must be the size of your blanket. And then here's the instructions. A rose in a bloom afghan. Huh. There it is. It's not like a crochet or a pattern or anything. It just shows you like how to you just weave it. It's just a weaving thing. thing with it. Well, I thought that was an afghan when I saw it. They called it an afghan. They're calling this an afghan. It's kind of cool, I guess. Well, now that this is open, I feel like maybe I can make it or something. It's, it's not crocheting. And there's no crochet. Here's the green yarn. Some felt. And inside is the red felt for the flowers. Now, for the life of me, I thought that that was a crochet afghan. But those are felt flowers and felt leaves. And these are this is just weaved. That's super cool, man. Um, yeah, I might. I don't like afghans. I was going to say, I might. And then I'm like, well, I don't really like doing it. But 38 by 66. I can't see this being anything that would be enjoyable for me. Um considering my I love Afghans I love them I just don't like to crochet them from a childhood incident and this seems like it would bring back awful memories for me um, having to sit there and weave all that in all those pieces one at a time but you know what it'd be cool to have it done there it is it's interesting that's interesting no price on it probably same era 60s 70s maybe I don't know it's all white yarn. Uh huh. Acrylic four weight yarn. Looks like. Yeah. That's. I really thought that was a afghan. That's all right though. It's pretty. And. And you put the felt. Felt on. There's your needle. And your rose felt. You gotta admit, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? That's pretty dang interesting. Ah, try to get that needle back in there. Now I can't. That was factory sealed. I messed it all up. Oh well. Put this green back in here. And all these instructions. Maybe one day. Maybe, just maybe. One of my, my daughter will want to do it. I doubt it though. I don't know how she feel about weaving. It's pretty cool though, I guess. I didn't think that was a, I didn't didn't think that was a weaving one. I hope I don't get no more weaving ones. I hope these are these are uh, crochet kits. All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Checking how long my video is. All right. Oh man, 
I'm so excited, so excited. Um, so dang excited. What is in here? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. $8.98. It says Afghan. A created kit. Make any one of these seven patterns with this kit. Ooh, we got the classic crochet granny up here. Yeah, yeah, I think you do that one. Oh, bag of day collars. Yeah, that's a nice brown fade. I like that. Some nice vintage acrylic yarn up in there. You can do the, uh, what's this one? The striped crochet. All right, we got a regular double crochet blanket. Yeah, getting, getting kind of creative up in there. What's this one? All right, we got a nice, just regular shell stitch crochet blanket. Uh-huh. Nice. Oh, uh, we got a knit, huh? A knit. Oh, seven, huh? Okay, so that one's some kind of knit. I don't know anything about knits. So there's that knit pattern, that knit pattern, and that knit pattern I've seen a bunch of times. It's very pretty. I actually have an afghan made with that knit pattern, a knitted one that I found at a resale shop for like two bucks. And in such pretty condition, excellent condition. Nice. Oh, and here's the other one. <laughs> it's a ripple. It's the old ripple in the back loop. Yeah, single crochet ripple in that back loop. Probably got a tutorial for that as well. Classic. Classic. Yarn Kits Incorporated, huh? New York, New York. Made and spawn in the USA. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I like the yarn inside. Um, the brown. That's cool. The pattern's pretty easy, you know. Pretty, pretty basic, you know. Um, that's okay, though. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Granny squares are so in style nowadays. Can't say I'm a huge fan of the, of the granny like this but you know it is what it is I don't know which one would I choose it's cool though it's cool the yarn looks shiny like it's a shinier yarn it looks a full weight yarn I don't know what date I give this probably 70s as well probably I don't know why I ain't got no dates on these that's okay though I'm pretty good at dating Dating stuff. Yeah. I'm going to give that probably same time, same time period. Late 60s, early 70s. You guys tell me in the comments too what you think about the dates. If you want, have at it. I'd be interested to hear what you got to say. Super cool. But I can't open it. Because my collective mind will not allow me to open that. It won't. It won't. This one came with a ripped bag. They came like this. I mean, the sack was ripped open from the post office. So it is really cool. It's a very Afghan I've seen a gazillion times. The Daisy Afghan kit. Have you guys seen that? Of course you have. That's a popular Afghan right there. Five ninety six for that Afghan kit. Five ninety six, man. Back in the day, man. Yeah. Decorate your home. Easy and relaxing to make. Contains twenty four ounces of one hundred percent acrylic, and requires a size H hook. Oh, we had different colors available. Orange, oh, that's the one I got, the orange and green one. The one that's on the pick. Yeah, and it came in white, black, and hot pink. Oh my, I wonder what that one looked like. And then it came in red, white, and blue. Awesome. You guys seen this kit? Or you guys probably seen that a million times, haven't you, that Afghan? Yeah. I've seen it, people make things out of that. those little uh, daisies a gazillion times over. What? 
machine washable and dryable moth proof non allergenic yarn it's moth proof is that because it's plastic acrylic moths don't want no plastic acrylic they want the real deal right am i right that's cool i like that 596 that's a cool kit Uh, that's, that's awesome, man. Don't get much cooler, really. That's super cool. Can't open that though. Sorry. My, like I said, my compulsive uh, collective personality will not let me open that. Let's see what this one has in store for us, shall we? I waited so long for one of them to come and I don't know what I got. I don't remember. I don't remember. I remember this one. This is super nostalgic. This is Nostalgia 101 for back old day. I love nostalgia. I do. Mm. When it comes to nostalgia, there ain't much that beats out for me. Something that could snap me right back to a good time in my childhood. And you know what can do that? The Cabbage Patch Kids can. I collected those Cabbage Patch Kids even when I was, even when I was a little, I collected. Mm -hmm. I started collecting crochet hooks when I was a kid. Hero. I was, that's what I collect, started collecting. Uh, I've always had a personality of a collector. My gosh, did I love Cabbage Patch Kids. 80s. Definitely the 80s. Oh, a bunch of markdowns from the store called... Zayre? Z-A-Y-R-E. I've never heard of that before. Mark down, mark down, mark down. Granny Square Afghan. Oh, you can make two. A Granny Square Afghan or... No, you can't. There's two styles. I got the Granny Square Afghan. Easy to crochet. No abbreviated instructions. Features 100% remember yarn. Moth proof. Man. And allergy free. I've never heard of 100% remem remember yarn. That's super cool. So, there it is. That's the one I got. The granny square one. Oh my gosh, you know what you do? You know what you do? That's so cool. I don't think that would fly nowadays for an afghan kit, but it's pretty cool. Look, you make the afghan, you crochet it, and then like the granny squares, and this is this right, this part right here is just all single crochet. And look, you use the stencils and you paint, you paint the cabbage patch kit on it. How cool is that? Like I said, I don't think that would fly nowadays. You couldn't do that. But, I mean, that is interesting to me. I've never seen anything like that. Yep, includes the materials to make baby pink and white afghan. The stencil, here's the stencil that, that I have. And the paint to match it. Super cool, man. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, includes a legend of the Cabbage Patch Kid. If you guys don't know the legend of the Cabbage Patch Kid, you should look it up. Create an authentic afghan, fresh from the Cabbage Patch. Oh my gosh. Uh, this one is really neat. Plaid Enterprises. This is this is the this is the coolest one so far, man. I ain't never seen an Afghan kit where you where you paint on it like that. Like I said, I don't think that people would roll with that like nowadays. But get an Afghan. If I got an Afghan kit from Mary Maxim and said I had to paint on it, I, I would think it was cool. But then, then I'd be like, well, what's going on here? Well, we do, we do graph crochet now. We don't got to paint on our Afghans. But you know what? This is cool because back then, they probably didn't, you know, they didn't have the option of, of graph crochet. 
You know, it probably wasn't. I don't know if they did or not. I would say if you have to paint on your afghan that you... Did they do graph crochet back then? You guys let me know because I, I was little. So um, this was probably made before I started to crochet, I would, I would imagine. So uh, I wouldn't know. Maybe this is meant for a child. That's not for me though. So have my cabbage patch kids too. They might remember, right? All right, let's look at another one. I got this. I got uh, this one, and then two more, and then I'll be gone. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest ever. Ah oh, man, they're all cool, but I'll tell you what. Is this a, that a, <laughs> they're all cool, they're all cool. Calico by Brusilla, a child Afghan. Granny Square, Granny Square style. I wonder if it comes with that, that roughly stuff that you put around it. So that's pretty much pretty basic granny there right there. That's your colors. Yep. Yep. Huh, that's the brand. A child's Afghan to crochet. Easy care, machine washable, non-allergenic. Contains um 11 and a quarter ounces of a 100% DuPont acrylic yarn. Seven yards of nylon lace. Ah, it does include that lace and easy to follow instructions. It does require a G-hook. Approximate size, including that ruffle, is 31 by 41 inches. That is awesome. Here's the three colors they made it in here. Oh, I didn't even know which color this one was. I assumed it was this one, but it's not. So, this is the one that is in this box. This pastel one. I like it. I do like that one. But it doesn't matter, though. I'm not making it. Da Man, what you date this to? 60s, probably? 70s, probably? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the date is. There's not even a price on it. I love it when they got prices on it. Forgive me for not opening them. I hope that you understand that. That my mind won't let me do it. It's cool though that it comes with the ruffle. That's a pretty basic though. Just making up some granny squares, you know. Putting them together. Putting a ruffle on it. Put slapping it in the kit, man. Probably didn't cost but a few bucks, maybe. Man. My how times have changed. My house, our crochet has evolved. Hasn't it? Hasn't it? Sometimes I like the simpler times, though, you know, times were simple sometimes back then. Sometimes they get a little hectic nowadays, you know. But, goodness gracious, this one is taped up and mm, they use that sticker on the and tape it. They don't want this one coming undone. They're like, no, nah, this one ain't coming undone. Come on now. Come on. Don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me. You're embarrassing me. Man. Why are they going to tape it and do it, that, do it that way? Oh my gosh, I put it in a bag too. Goodness gracious. That one wasn't coming undone. Now we got the bag. I think it should be easy from here. Let's hope anyway. Come on. What's inside? What's inside? Well, I thought it'd be easy from here. Man. This person knows how to pack. There we go. <laughs> Look at those colors. 
Definitely the brightest one. Oh my my. It's another granny square. <laughs> oh, it's it's more than one. Afghan warmer. A created Afghan kit. Make any one of the three patterns shown. The crochet a granny square. Classic. Like we haven't seen that already today. Hey, that was classic back then. And it's like I said, it's becoming pretty classic now. We got the knit ripple right there. Awesome. And then we got the good old single crochet in the back loop ripple right there that you could do. Any one of those three with the colors here. I like the colors. I mean, they're bright, cheery. One to knit, two to crochet. Great rainbow colorings and easy to follow patterns. Crochet a granny ripple or knit up a ripple in our two ply 100% acrylic special afghan yarn. Kit includes 15 ounces of pool schemed yarn. Instructions on reverse size. Reverse side. I'm a yarn kits incorporated. New York, made in the U.S., huh? <laughs> wow! Use a size K hook, man! Wow! I never use a K for that. That's like a... Oh, it feels so... It feels so... On top. I like Greenwich yarn. I love any jar, though. That's... I'm just putting my finger in a hole that's in the back. My gosh, it's like a three-way yarn. They're telling you to use a K-hook on this. Use a K-hook for this three-way yarn, they're saying. Wow. Wow. How interesting is that? How cool is that? This is how they were back in the day. Gosh, I wish some more of them had some price tags on them. I'd be interested to see. See them. All right. I have one more here. And I just open it up and see what's inside. It's probably a. Uh, it wrapped in plastic. It's fantastic. Okay, so we're wrapped in plastic. And then we're wrapped in an UPS box. Protected. Remember, all these came off eBay. They are, uh... Oh man, that's cool. That's cool, this kid. Broomstick lace. It's one of my nemesis, nemesis, nemesis stitches. I can do it, but man, I don't like to do it. But boy, is it ever beautiful. Look at that Afghan kit. $7.99 from a store called Grand Central. Never heard of it. Look at that pretty kit. Look at that. That's uh, bro the broomstick lace. It's a beautiful, beautiful stitch. That's a beautiful, beautiful afghan. Like I said, I love the broomstitch lace. It's a beautiful stitch, but like I said, it is not an easy... I can do it, but it is not easy for me to do. It's one that... Uh, that... Uh, it's cool. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. But me doing it myself, it's just, it's so fiddly. I have a hard time. Uh, I don't know. I just, using my, I don't know. I just have a hard time with it. But, that's pretty. Oh, I didn't get that color. Here's a color of, I got. Well, those are Pago Day colors. Dark greens, avocado, like there's a darker avocado, like asparagus green. And a couple different colors of gold. So there's four colors. Two different colors of the my favorite colors of greens. And two different colors of my favorite colors of yellow. That is awesome. That's a beautiful blanket. This one's really pretty too though. This pink and, uh, and brown one. I like that one as well. But I'm not even happy with that. I don't even know why I'm saying it. Because I'm never going to open it. I'm never going to use it. 
I don't care about the color, but I like that. If this was made up in this color, it would be gorgeous. <sighs> Maybe one day I'll tackle. I I will. <laughs> now I can do the broomstick lace. It's just like I like I said. It's uh, if there's a stitch that Bag o' Day has trouble with, it would be the broomstick lace. Um. Although I can do it, it's just, it's, it doesn't like me. How about that? It doesn't like me. Wonder Art Creative Needle Crafts. The Elegant Broomstick Lace Afghan Crochet Kit. Fluffy, luxurious lace loops are made on broomstick needle. Then slipped off a single, <laughs> slipped off the single crochet. You know, back in the day when this was made, you know, they did probably use the real broomstick. I don't know. Some of you might still use a broomstick for broomstick lace. If I make it, I use like a big uh, hook. Like a, uh, I don't know, what, what, 15 or 19, 19 millimeter hook when I do it. But back then, that's why it was called the broomstick lace. Because they would use those wooden broomsticks, you know, they, they used to sweep the floor with. And that's how they would make that stitch because, of, you know, if you know, made the broomstick lace, you know, you got to use um, something round to hold those loops open while you uh, single crochet them <laughs> together to create that loop. <laughs> Design with a 50 broomstick needle. Oh. Plus a size 6 and 10 aluminum or plastic crochet hooks. These are not included in this kit. Complete, easy to follow instructions are enclosed in this package. This kit contains this color combination and it has an arrow pointing to it. I love it. Contains 21 ounces of two ply 100% DuPont acrylic yarn. Moth proof again, non allergenic machine, washable and dryable. 44 by 66 finish size, including the fringe. That's that's pretty. I like this one. Made in the USA, printed in the USA, Needlecraft Corporations of America, Chicago, Illinois. Huh. And like I said, Grand Central was the store. It was $7.99. Brand spanking new, $7.99. Not even been open. You can't get even a ball of yarn nowadays for barely $7.99, let alone a whole dang Afghan kit like this. How times have changed, man. How, th how they've changed. Super cool, though, man. I know this yarn isn't extremely, it's not going to be extremely soft because I, you know. I know what this yarn is. I have this yarn. I have a lot of vintage yarn. Uh, yeah, I'm a vintage yarn collector. But you probably guess that. I've actually mentioned it many times and opened vintage yarn before on camera a lot of times. I used to do that. Um, I haven't done it lately though. That's that's really neat. Hmm. Well, that concludes my Afghan kit um, show. Now, I will say, again, once again, I do apologize. I just cannot open these. Um, I can't. I can't do it. Um, but because I collect things, anything vintage, and especially anything vintage crochet. And now I'm on a, I, it started. It started. I now I'm on a vintage Afghan collecting kit. There's, there will be no stopping me now. And no one's going to stop me now. Don't stop me now i'm having a good time having a ball um out of all the ones i got i think today they're all super cool man they were super cool this one is really cool i like it a lot i mean it's whole display and everything it's, it's a gorgeous afghan the broomstick lace is a very very beautiful stitch but i think the one that takes it for me though is straight up nostalgia because as i mentioned Nothing beats nostalgia for me. Mm. Snacks me back to the time when I was little. A time that I was happy when I was little. And this is it. Oh, my cabbage patch kids. 
Plus, I think it's cool that you paint on it like that. You guys let me know in the comments. Back in the time, you know, this would have probably been early 80s, I would I would assume. Did they do graph crochet back then? Was it, had that been it? Was that a thing? Because, you know, I was little. I was super little back then, so I wouldn't have known. Um, is that... They didn't have that. Is that why they had to paint paint on it and they couldn't graph crochet that? Let me know. I'm interested. I'm curious. I can look it up, I guess. I just look it up. But that's super cool. It's so neat to see how crochet has evolved over our time over time, you know. It's so nowadays crochet is so you can do anything that your mind can think of. When it comes to crochet, with a piece of string, you can do anything that you want with it, you know. It's endless of what you can do with a piece of string and a hook. I'm sure, I'm certain the same goes for knitting. I don't, like I said, I don't knit, but your imagination and your creativity is endless with a piece of string and a hook. I can make anything that I want. That's my favorite thing about crochet. Anything that I think of, I can make it. And you can too. Yarn has evolved so much now. I mean, I love vintage yarn. Don't get me wrong. I love to collect it. I don't love to use it. <laughs> but I love to collect it. I do. It reminds you, it reminds me of simpler times. Like I said, it reminds me, I don't know. When I learned to crochet, it was this Red Heart Super Sailor. All the way, man. All the way, Red Heart Super Saver. And still to this day, it's Red Heart Super Savers. It's got pretty much the, uh, the, uh, value click locked down. You know, it, it runs a market on that. Good for them. Good for Red Heart. Unfortunately, you know, it, it, so it did sell, but it's still Red Heart. Sold to your inspirations, but... It's still red heart. Still making it's still making it yarn. Hmm. I love it. That was such, that was such a fun time. Um, like I said, I that's it. I'm addicted to those now. So I have so many hooks. I got so much vintage yarn. Now I'm gonna have so much vintage Afghan kits. And don't think I'll just get crochet because I'll get knit ones too. <laughs> I won't open them. I'll never open them. I only open this one because it's not really what I thought. I, I thought it was a crochet kit, but it's like that mesh stuff. It's like a weaving kit. For some reason in my mind, that's different. But uh, I probably shouldn't have opened it. I probably shouldn't have done that. But that's okay. I'm sure, certain that someone on eBay has that exact same one again. I don't even think it was that much money on eBay. But that's it, man. How cool was that? Well, for me, it was super cool. I hope you had a good time. Um, man, I can't watch Patch Game on this. It's a bomb, man. That's some good times. I'm gonna go look on eBay. All right? I'll see you guys. See you on my next one. Take care, all right?